transfer windows opened. We're getting ready to look into that and start looking for players. I don't really have a lot of holes that I want to address right now, but still, you never know what's going to come up. And, you know, being that I let my scouts do all the searching, if they come up with somebody interesting, you know I'm not scared to pull the trigger on that. Nothing on the outgoing right now. We've gotten some nibbles on some of our younger uh, 16, 17, 18-year-old players. But uh, outside of a couple of loans, I haven't done anything just yet. But hey, you never know what is going to happen. So we'll just have to be prepared for that and look forward to what transpires. China? It's got to be a spam call, right? Hello? Guangzhou manager. Yeah, how you doing today? Oh, Chinese Super League. I, I'm not familiar with it. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So you're interested in one of my players. Well, I've got a few that we could talk about. Melvin Gerber. Really not interested in talking about him. I don't think my dog's happy that you called about him either. $40 million. Hmm. I'm not that interested. No. $50 million? No. I, I'm, I'm not interested still. $60 million. All right, you've got my attention, but I'm still not, still not on board with that. Okay. Okay, so sixty million up front and twenty-three million after fifty games. Well, I mean he's young, fifty games I mean he's only twenty one. Fifty games is not a big deal. So basically I I'll get twenty three million next season. Can you throw in, I don't know, thirty percent of your profit on your next sale from him? Yes. I don't see how I can say no to that deal. All right, we've got a deal. I'll tell him to pack and catch a flight uh, down to China. Thanks so much. All right. I, I just sold Melvin Gerber for, not, for $83 million. Couldn't say no. Hey guys, RC here. We are back with episode 61 of Football Manager. This is the, the climbing the ladder save with De Graaf Shop in the Netherlands. We are currently in the Arita VC, where we have become established since my arrival. And as you just heard, we sold Melvin Gerber. He wasn't really looking to move, but you know, we had him for four more years. But I don't think I could say no to that deal. Um, we had like just 52 million in the bank. So this doubles our money in the bank. I just didn't see how we could say no to that. So we get 60 million up front, 30, uh, 23 million after 50 games and a 30% sell on agreement of the profit. So, uh, liking that. Now, what I did do is, uh, we have gone out and we have signed two center backs to take his place. And we signed two because we also loaned out Fritz Grizel prior to the call for Gerber coming in. So he was a reserve center back way down on the depth chart, but probably could have played. But I still want to put a quality team out for all these cup matches. So what I did is I took that $60 million. We're going to reinvest some of it. I couldn't find anybody to buy just yet. So let's take a look at who we have bought. We were getting some interest in Kirill Kurdov, and uh, we'll talk about him in a minute. Well, let's talk about him now. So he's got one year left on his deal. I went to go offer him a contract, and he said, you're not big enough for me. I want to play with better players. So then I tried to transfer list him, and he said, why are you trying to transfer list, list me? I like it here. And unfortunately, in this case, there should have been, but there was not an option to say, you just rejected a contract offer yesterday, so now I've got, I'm just trying to cash in on you and your talent before you leave for free, because he's only 19. 
and he's pretty damn good. Uh, and I don't really want him to go anywhere unless I get $83 million for him <laughs> or more. But um, yeah, so that happened. And so I said, he may be leaving. And then I went out and I signed Lucas Kispe from River Plate. Two million up front, two million in additional fees. Uh, nothing on the never never. It's it's like after fifty games, same as Gerber's deal. But he's really well rounded. Three star current, five star potential, a uh, lot of room to develop. And so he's a squad player. That's what he signed for. He'll definitely be depth for us. I think he can start for us now. Uh, we also signed uh, Keon Guillaume for. 1.2 million with add-on fees. Uh, he is a goalkeeper. More for the future. Four-star potential. Again, you know, I've, I'm always looking to sign and sell players uh, to keep the books balanced. But he, you know, he may be good enough to start for us in a couple of years. We'll see. When Gerver left, I took that money and I went, I went hunting. But I couldn't find anybody to buy. So what I did find is I found these two guys that we loaned in. So Matthew Viator comes to us from Red Bull Leipzig, four-star current, five-star potential, 20-year-old uh, Frenchman, 21 caps at U21. He's six foot one. Heading is great. Tackling is great. Marking is strong. Yeah, I don't have any problems with this guy. So he's going to come in and be a starter for us. And then I also... I wanted to make sure I got at least one guy, and I ended up getting both. Uh, Paulo Vitor from Borussia Mladenovic. Uh, he is three star current, four and a half star potential, six foot two, twenty one year old Brazilian. Not quite as good. I did have to promise him to be a regular starter, but he's only on loan till the end of the season. So maybe we'll get away with parking him on the bench, and they won't call him back. <laughs> That's the hope. That's the hope. All right, so that's going to change things up drastically for us on the back line. Um, I am hopeful that that is a net gain. Uh, those two guys are not showing up. Uh, let's take that off. There we go. All right. So if we take a look at center back, we've got Viator, Kurdov, Kaisela. Dimitrovich, and I think I'm going to play Dimitrovich over Kaisela just because he's got the upside, right? So that's going to be something to look at. But uh, yeah, Viator is going to slot in. So we have Quispy and Viator uh, both on the bench. Grizel's out. So we've got now a little bit of depth there. Uh, we are still looking for, we're not really looking for any big upgrades. Uh, but now that I do have some money, I can always be tempted. So uh, the scouts are looking. We'll keep our eyes open for that. But more importantly, we need to get into matches. Uh, so let me move ahead. I just kind of wanted to come back with that Gerber news just hitting here in the last day or two and uh, the loans coming out. So let's go up to the Utrecht match. We'll check out highlights and then we'll have FC 20 in the Dutch Cup third round. We've only got three days before our cup match, so I had to go with a little bit of a rotated squad. There was a beautiful through ball, and Dickey scores on his debut. We just signed him at the start of the transfer window, and that gives us the 1-0 advantage. 38th minute, a drop-in pass to Shepardonk, and he crosses it in. A couple of deflections. Unfortunately, Baumgartner couldn't clear it. Smith is there for the putback, and we were equal at 1-1. 62nd minute over the top into that space that we have seen so many times. The new guy, Viator, late getting across, and Echteld puts it into the back of the net. 2-1 to one to Utrecht. And there's our old guy, Nemeth, laying it off. DeVries, back to Nemeth. He crosses it in, and Kaisela is beaten by Smith as he gets a brace. We were in a 3-1 hole. 87th minute, an interception. Resnick finds Van de Horst. He plays it ahead to Ronnie Evers, and Evers, two touches, beats the keeper, and made it 3-2. He did pick up the ball, but we were unable to get another challenge. Uh, we had the 13-11 advantage on shots. 
they had a slight edge in possession. We just let this one get away. This is just one of those, uh, probably not our strongest squad. And then, of course, uh, I think we're going to take a little while to gel <clears throat> on that back line. But uh, Dimitro Dickey has a debut goal, so that is very good. I've got three days up to the next match, so let's get to that, and we will have some Dutch Cup action. You ever have one of those days when things just don't work out? I played out the Dutch Cup match, played it all out, talked it all out, and I was just going to end the video and end the recording and realize that it was paused. So we missed it. Too bad. We're going to check out the goal, though. Uh, you see we edged them 1-0. I couldn't hide that from you. So let's take a look. Dimitrovich starts off the attack. Ronnie Ebers makes a great move. And then his trademark movie dinks the keeper for the goal. We had a couple of other opportunities. Uh, they had a goal disallowed for an offsides. Uh, they actually outshot us 15 to 14 and had possession, but we did the job. We also received 217,000 for the win. And we're coming up on the draw for the quarterfinals. And that should be today. And then after that, we've got some business to talk about. All right, we are here for the draw. You can see we are one of the eight teams left. Uh, Telstar is the only non Arita VC team in there. So that's who we would like to draw, probably. PSV away. Nope. Telstar. We would like this, except that it's an away game. And we don't. They're going to get destroyed. Sitard? Nope. So we're going to draw Venlo. At home. At least it's a home game for us. So that is going to take place on February 13th. And then we have Bayern Munich, which will be... So what we'll do is we'll come back for... We just saw FC20, right? I showed you the highlights. I guess we could play Sparta to give you guys a match. Why don't we do that? And then we'll talk about the business. All right, we're going to go with Kaiser in the goal, Dimitrovich, Kurdov, and Viator on the back line. Baumgartner, Momsilovic, Nagy. Actually, I want to bench Momsilovic this match. Bring on uh, Grutunk. There we go. Uh, so Grutunk, Nagy in the mid, Baumgartner, Demir on the wings, Vandehorst at the number 10, Evers and Dickey up top. I've already checked to make sure that the recording was turned on this time. <laughs> so we won't do that again today, or at least not this episode. All right, let's go with the revenge factor. Ooh, it's an overcast day, and we are underway. Let's encourage them. We're wearing the green. We got our asses handed to us last time we wore those. All right, Viator. Well, he played that in really hard. That was not... It was not a manageable ball, I don't think. Dimitrovic just got beaten by Karsbon. Missed the tackle. And it goes high. Kurdov did a good job to bounce out there at the last minute. He tried to cut off the angle and then skipped out. So good job to him. Dimitrovic needs to do a little bit better. All right, Demir. Cross midfield. Plenty of space. Look at the through ball to Evers, and he just walks it past the keeper. His 18th of the season. What a goal. What a goal. They go celebrate, and we have a 1-0 advantage inside the 8-minute mark. So that is a good thing. Demir, long throw. Can't get it past the corner man. All right, Viator. Good ball movement up there in the middle. Oh, look at that. And it's Dickey. And it's blocked away. They got a foot right in front of him. Or he would have had a crack on goal there. All right. The header comes out. Baumgartner lets it get past him. And I believe that's going to be a penalty. Kaiser's coming out to complain. Hey, hey, that's not a foul. He is our captain, so good job on him coming out. I think that was a pretty stout tackle. I don't think he, he didn't dive into it. I think it should be no penalty. But 
You never know with VAR. And they do give a penalty. What do I know? What does anybody know? All right, Kaiser's going to have to step up and save it. Oh, he got a hand on it, and it's, oh, what a save. The captain steps up and makes a stout showing. All right, he snags that one. We're still holding on to the 1-0 advantage inside the 20-minute mark. All right, Denier, through ball to Ebers, and he puts it right into the keeper. Keeper did a good job coming out on that. Grutunk, and the keeper knocks it over again. What a play. All right, Nagy bends it in. It is just headed out. And they're going to get that ball. Kosat lays it off. Karsban. And another tackle. No, he's going to the VAR again? Are you kidding me? I tell you what, if he's given up another penalty, I've got to give serious thought to pulling him out of the game. Oh, come on. Just because he's in the box doesn't make it a penalty. No penalty. Thank God. That one looked worse than the last one. But it does go out of play, so I guess they get the corner here. But we're going to skip ahead. And... It's dropped into Dickey. Was he on sides? No, I see the flag up. Offsides at the back post. They're going to call that one back. And that is not going to be a goal. So it's back to 1 0. 25th minute. I thought he was offsides. Too bad they didn't have anybody playing the post. If they had, he might not have been able to put that one in the net, though. Everybody's playing a lot better this time. Six seven, six eights are the worst scores we're seeing. And a noted lack of highlights there for about a 20-minute stretch. Grutunk gets beaten. And it's, oh, Baumgartner again. Oh, my God. I was just like having panic flashes. Come on, defense. Uh, Grutunk gets beaten. Dimitrovich knocks it away. Baumgartner, oh, that was horrible. He's gone. I'm pulling him off at halftime. That was a horrible clearance right into the middle, and that just set it up, and they equalize. Oh, my God. That was horrible. That was horrible. He was looking for Demir. I can appreciate that, but you never play it short in the middle. You can't do that. And we're going to be equal at halftime. All right, first off, you, six and a half. Yep, you're off. Let's bring on Sun Wu Yang. He's actually very skilled looking. And I don't know that he's played for us yet. So he's in. And anybody else? He's the only one that I'm really disgusted with. All right, let's go to the dressing room. Uh, let's hands in pockets. Let's go with the revenge factor again. Baumgartner's off. I don't do that very often. I do not pull players off for performance at halftime very often. And the keeper makes the save on that one. Let's give him some encouragement. Nagy will line up for the corner near post, but it's headed out and then cleared away. We're still down in eighth position. We have got to start getting some points. We've got a plus 12 goal differential. 32 points from 20 matches. And we have Wellington on the breakaway. Two on two. Uh, chested down by Carsbon. He looks so dangerous. I'm going to have to scout him. <laughs> let's, in fact, let's do that right now. How old is he? He's 20. He's pretty good. But I don't need him as a striker, and I don't play with an attacking winger. So, eh, doesn't do us any good, I suppose. All right, let's go ahead and pull off. I'm going to pull off Grutunk. Let's bring Momsilovich on, because we know he can do bits. Let's demand more. A tight calf, Ronnie Ebers. And you know what? Let's go ahead and pull him off with the injury. 
Put Kernjik on there. What the heck was that throw? All right, intercepted by Kurdov. Sun Wu Yang cuts inside. Oh, he took a powerful crack at it. And now Vanderhorst is hurt. Gee whiz. And I don't have any more subs. The header goes wide of the mark. That's going to be a goal kick. Come on. Demand more. All right. Come on, boys. Oh, my God. Did he just beat him over the top? And I thought v v I thought he just brought it right in front of the goal and left it there. It was like an Amazon package dropped off at your front door. <laughs> and then they don't knock or ring the bell, and you don't know it's there. And then the opposing team can come in and steal the package. And we slot one home. It's Dickey, his second goal in stoppage time. And we might, we might sneak away with this one. I wasn't expecting that. That's huge. We could really use the points. That would put us up into seventh position. And we hold on for the 2-1 win. Ooh, that was nerve-wracking. We got away with that. You were poor. We need to do better. All right, so let's talk about the future of the save. We're currently in seventh place, 34 from 20, a plus 13 goal differential. So we could be back in Europe next year. Euro Cup, whatever it is. The whole goal here was to do a building the nation style thing where we build up our club, you know, build our club up. And we took a lower club and we can jump into my history here. So we finished second in the second division. Automatic promotion, barely stayed up that first year in the Arita VC, got better, seventh position, one head coach of the year, repeated seventh, two more years, and then we've made the jump up to second, and I won head coach of the year, and we won the Dutch Cup last year. So when we took over, you know, we were going after the likes of Ajax, PSV, AZ. Those were like the three big clubs. Now, time has passed. Remember, we are a plus 30. But if we take a look at Ajax, for example, I mean, they've been a top of the table until just a few years ago. They finished second. So they're just in a recent downturn. It's not like they're a bad side. PSV, taking a look at them. I mean, third place is the worst they've ever done. So. Those are the clubs that we're competing with. We beat them last year because we lost the league to Heronveen. And then, so I'd been thinking, you know, you guys may be aware I started a new save about a week ago, uh, and I want to give that a go. And I need to cut back from three to two series. What got me to think that it's this is the year to end the save. Let's go back a few days here in the email. About four days ago, the IAX board reached out for me to interview with them. So you got to remember, this is a top-level Arita VC club historically, not just now in real life, but plus 30 in the future that we're doing. We've gotten good enough both as a manager and with our club's performance that now one of the top three teams in the, in the league are reaching out to us to manage them. I think that speaks volumes to the accomplishments. We won the Dutch Cup. We made the Dutch Cup for the first time in club history and won it. Uh, we're in that cup again this year. We made the Champions League. And then we made it out of the group stage and we beat Barcelona. I don't think there's a whole lot more I can do at this job. So I think we can call this a success. My opinion. So I think this is the year to end it. Now, it's not going to end now. I'm not going to go resign now. We have plenty of time left in the season. We've got Dutch Cup action. We're in the quarterfinals. We're into the knockout stage. So we've got Bayern Munich coming up probably in two episodes now because we are going to do the Dutch Cup next episode. And then we may have some other cup action down the road here. So there's plenty of stuff going on. Three, four, five, six episodes left depending on how far we make it in these cup matches. 
Now, on the negative side of that, I know several of you found my my channel through DeGroff Shop through this save. Uh, and one of you in particular was a DeGraff Shop fan. And, you know, I hope you guys understand, and I'm sure you do, that all saves have to end at some point. So I had been thinking about it. I wasn't positive which save I was going to end. And it was actually the email from IAX that kind of made me go, yep, now's the time. Now's the time. So uh, I hope you guys like what I do enough to stick around and, and watch the other saves and, and continue to be a, a member of the community here on the channel. I do appreciate it. Uh, if you do leave, I understand that too. Uh, I hope you don't, but uh, I hope you stick around. But if you do, just know that I do appreciate you stopping by, being a member on the channel here for a while. And uh, I hope I brought you some enjoyment with this save for your club. Uh, but, you know, we are going to move on at the end of the season. But hopefully, you know, here over the next handful, you know, three or however many episodes it is, uh, we can challenge for some silverware and uh, do some impressive things for the uh, for the super farmers. So thanks so much. Hit the like button. Subscribe for daily football manager content. And we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.